Michael Ford. You're listening to live coverage here on the Law and Crime Network of the trial of Jessica and Daniel Groves. This involves the death of little Dylan Groves. You heard authorities say how they believe this child was wrapped in plastic bags and all sorts of other instruments, chains, put in milk crates, and then thrown into a well. And that's where the body was ultimately recovered. Let's jump in with some analysis here. Ashley McMahon is a criminal defense attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. She's with me. So, Ashley, we heard this morning, right before these opening statements, that Jessica Groves, the mother, is going to testify in this case. That's a huge development. Yes, this is very unusual. So, um, typically, you know, if I have a couple, right, let's say, obviously represented by different attorneys, uh, I, my advice to one of the parties is going to be, hey, look, testify against the other person in this case. Um, that's kind of going to be the only way out of this, I think, for you. I mean, you can just tell by listening to the prosecution's opening statement, she is really throwing Jessica Groves under the bus with the fact that, you know, she was so intoxicated on drugs that the uh, hospital couldn't even administer any medication to her uh, when she was giving labor or in labor because they didn't know what would affect the baby. And that the, this poor baby Dylan, 12 hours after being born, just 12 hours already started showing signs of withdrawal symptoms from what we now know is methamphetamines. Uh, and that defects or, or that the Department of Child Services actually gave custody of the child of Dylan back to the father and not to the mother. So it's very interesting in this case. Oh, certainly. The facts are just absolutely horrible in this case. And it will be remained to be seen whether or not Jessica Groves gets on the stand and basically tries to blame the father. It's going to be tricky, though, given this evidence that you're talking about of what was going on in her own system, because there's some culpability there based on the medical results and whatnot. Wow, that's some incredible opening statements there in this trial we're watching out of Ohio. Jessica and Daniel Groves accused of killing Dylan Groves, age four to six months. We heard the defense for the mother get up there and basically say she did it. Ashley McMahon, criminal defense attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. So what's the strategy here for the defense? The defense basically admitted everything. Is the defense going to turn around and say not responsible because of the drugs in the system? I mean, what a bombshell in an opening statement to have, uh, you know, Mr. Stratton, who's representing Jessica in this case, get up in opening and basically tell the jury, look, not only are you going to hear from my client on the stand, but she is going to admit guilt. She's going to admit that she caused every single injury that was found on this child. And of course, this is a tragic death of a very young, you know, under one year old baby and infant. And basically he's saying she's gonna take the stand in order to show that her husband didn't have anything to do with the death of the child other than helping to try and conceal the body. And I have no doubt, Erin, no doubt in my mind the, the defense that she's going to use is, hey, look, I'm still addicted to drugs. I was on drugs at the time. Uh, these drugs made me do things that a rational person wouldn't do. And unfortunately, this is an epidemic that is going across this country. Many communities, unfortunately, just as he stated in opening statement, are very familiar with the repercussions of this type of drug use. You know, there are grandparents raising grandchildren with the parents incarcerated or even worse, dead from overdoses from these kind of chemicals. And so I think I think this defense attorney did an amazing job with his opening statement and really set the stage uh, for the jury to be able to find some sympathy for Jessica and possibly even exonerate the father in this case. Okay, so I mean, is this basically a back and forth between the mother and the father where one agreed to take the fall here? Possibly, but you know what? It You can't force anybody to testify and you can't force a husband and wife to testify against each other. So to me, it looks like, you know, it, unless the attorney said, hey, this is the best bet that we have, it sounds to me like it's more likely than not with as young as the victim is that it's probably only one of the two of the adults that actually caused the death of the child, but both could potentially be involved in the cover up, putting him into the milk crate and trying to bury the body. So, uh, you know, with the, with a victim this small, I mean, it's not like wrestling down an adult 
and murdering them where, you know, you might need two people. I think it's very likely and a jury could buy that Jessica is the only one who was involved in the actual killing of the child. Well, we're going to break right now here on the Law and Crime Network and make sure we don't miss many of these opening statements from the attorney for the father. So we'll be back in just a moment.